With no Ben Brown roaming around due to a calf injury, Majak Daw took the opportunity to step up his game once again. The key defender spoiling everything in his path in the first quarter of match play. The blue team hit back through Aidan Bonner, the new recruit finding Taylor Garner free inside 50. Taron Thomas picking up where he left off last week, putting the foot down on his opponents and almost pulling off a miraculous goal. No Brown also gave Ben Cunnington some time up forward and the gun midfielder was damaging from the get-go. At the other end, it was Tristan Sherry causing headaches, but White was unable to apply much scoreboard pressure. To start the second quarter, it was Adam Tipp and Woody's time to shine, the new addition to the VFL side showing he has what it takes. But in this game, you have to earn everything, especially when Jed Anderson is around. Both sides' defenders were also standing tall, Josh Walker for blue, and Dorr for white, still ever reliable, with another intercept grab. And he had plenty more spoils too. Cam Zerha, also known as the Bull, wasn't to be denied however, bustling his way around a pack and finding the goals. The Blues putting the foot down late, teamwork resulting in a goal to Jack Marnie that put them up 43-13. There was a rare sight to start the third, Cunnington wrapped up in a tackle. But what was common, Lockie Hosey finding the footy inside 50. His goal cutting the margin to 21. A nice snap around the body, landing firmly on Nick Larkey's chest, who slotted one. Cunnington didn't need much help to kick his next goal, pouncing on a bouncing ball and cleverly guiding it through. Minutes later, Sherry flew taking a nice mark and managing to kick one despite the sudden onset of blustery conditions. Blue extending the lead 67 to 28 at three quarter time. With plenty to prove, Paul Ahern was a highlight for the white side, gathering plenty of touches. But no one stood out more than Cunnington. When he wasn't kicking goals, he was assisting others. Larky, the recipient this time around. And what would a North game be without a trademark Cunnington fend-off? The number 10 doing whatever he pleased halfway through the fourth. Ben Mackay switched things up with time running out, moving from one end of the ground to the forward line. But anything they could do, Cunnington could do better. Blew the clear winners, the perfect tune-up ahead of the club's first Marsh Series game against the Bulldogs on Friday the 21st.